Sorry guys. Go on, Sam. <laughs> Sorry guys. Alright, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Who's going to start? Frankie, you're going to start. Thank you, you're right. Uh, congratulations on a great performance. First of all, how did you get off the canvas there in the 12th round? I mean, that was a really violent knockdown. I, I thought for sure you were out. Can you talk us through that? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody to turn up for the press conference and hope everybody enjoyed the fight as much as I did. Um, how did I get up from the knockdowns? I don't know. I had a, uh, a holy hand upon me tonight and brought me back. And I got a good fighting spirit and you know, I never say die, I get back up. And you know, even in the 12th round when I got knocked down heavy, I got back up and probably won the round. Fall back and wobbled in a little bit as well. So, listen, I'm not going to take anything from Deontay Wilder, the bronze spot. second fight, uh, again, you're right. Do you think in a second fight, given now you had a big fight at a high level like this, that you would perform at an even higher level than you did tonight? You know, you never can tell, but one thing I do know is there wasn't many people who thought I could come here and box like that after the two and a half year out of the ring, and it's not been any secret what I've been doing out of the ring. I've been living like a rock star. <laughs> uh, but that ain't a great thing, by the way, because I've had a very low time doing it. Uh, I fought back from suicide and mental health and depression and anxiety, and I wanted more than anything tonight to show the world that it can be done. Anything is possible with the right mindset. If you believe in yourself, and you sacrifice and dedicate with the right help, you can come back. Because when I sit here and say, I was on the brink of suicide, I mean suicide, and I came back with the help of Ben Davison and a great team around me, we were able to achieve what we achieved tonight. the 10 seconds of that last knockdown I, I we saw you get up like it was amazing what you did in that final two seconds but for those first five seconds you look completely out can you take us through those 10 seconds and did you go from completely knocked out to waking up what happened did jesus christ come down and wake you up what happened i think so yeah i think i had the only hands upon me tonight and i was brought back rose me to my feet on the brink of defeat and the lyrics i stole from a tune but um i can't tell you because i don't know i don't know what happened I got back up, I was slipping and sliding, and obviously couldn't land on me, and I counted and bang, with a good couple of shots back. I probably, uh, probably we should have, that round should have been probably a draw in, uh, in the last round, but listen, it was what it was, it was a great fight. I ain't gonna complain and call Wilder a million names, because he's a great champion, and that's what champions do. Listen, I'm the lineal heavyweight champion of the world, I ain't just gonna lay down, because I got punched in the face and knocked down. We get back up and fight. I'm not the lineal champion for nothing, and this is the first time, every time a lineal Tebuo champion has come back from years out of the ring, he's been destroyed. So I set a precedent tonight, I think I'm the first one to come back and do well. But it was a great experience, I just want to say, BT Sport and Showtime and everybody who was involved in this fight do a fantastic job promoting it and everybody who turned up, it was a great night, a great experience in my journey in life. Thank you to everyone who turned up. God bless you. Hey, hey good Tyson, congratulations to you on your, on your effort and your performance tonight. But what I hear from you, it sounds like you're happy with the draw. Is that accurate? Well, that's the question where you're from. Uh, right here, right here. <laughs> it, it, what, um, it sounds like you're happy with the draw. Is that accurate? I'll answer that one. I think that everybody should be thankful to Tyson for being so professional under his conduct. conduct when we all know sitting in this room who won that fight, but he also could have caused a riot if he kicked off about that scorecard. Do you know what it was? I was telling my brothers so, and my family to keep quiet. There was about 8,000 travels uh, and, and Brits come that. from around the world, 10,000. They probably would have smashed this arena up if I'd have instigated it. <laughs> I mean to the floor. So really, he's owed a thank you for keeping that, being professional and doing it under that conduct. I just wanted to be an ambassador for the country and the people. First of all, I want to commend you for overcoming the mental struggle that brought you to this place tonight. Yeah. It's not easy for any human being when they have struggle with inside of their soul. For you to accomplish what you did tonight, my hat goes off to you. Now, with that said, do you think you have your focus now? Most definitely. You know, I showed good focus all year. If you look back a year ago today, 
I was about 400 pounds. I was in terrible shape. I was so, so terrible. It's no secret what I've been through. But it, it's proof that anyone can come back from anything. With the right mindset and the right help, anyone can do it. It ain't just me. I ain't a special human being. I'm just a normal man. But with the right help and the right guidance, anyone can turn their life around. And like I say, I wasn't fighting for myself. And when I was down, it wasn't, I wasn't just down on that campus in round 12 for me and my family. I was, de I was representing everybody who suffers around the world. I had to get up. I couldn't stay down. I had to get up and show that you can continue and you can carry on and anything is possible. Okay, so right here. Since the, since the draw happened and everything happened here in LA, would you be up, up for going for the rematch in Vegas to get that out of your belt? Do you know what? I'm happy for the fight. I trained really hard. We didn't get the decision we wanted, but it's life and life continues on. You know, I'm not going to cry like a baby over spilt milk. It was what it was. But I'm going to go home, enjoy the Christmas, enjoy my family, and sit down in January with Frank and my team and recalculate. We don't know what we're going to do next, but um, I hope it was a good fight. I'm going to sit down and watch it and uh, recalculate and see what happened, where we went wrong, what we did right. And uh, we're going to sit down and, and see what our next move is. And after you and Deontay had your moment after the bell rung and everything, you made it a point to call out Anthony Joshua. Why was that a point in that moment to let everybody know and put him on blast? You know, it's no secret that Joshua did not want this fight. And he didn't want it for a reason, because Deontay Wilder is the most fiercest puncher in, in boxing history, in heavyweight division history. And I saw that tonight, I felt it. No wonder AJ didn't want no part of that right hand. <laughs> He can't move like me, he'd have been nailed. <laughs> but um, listen, I stood up for my country, I stood up for my people, my pride, my family name, and I represented the United Kingdom and Ireland tonight. And I've done it well, I'm proud, and I just want to say that I am a true bread fighting man. Um, while the king came over to the UK and showed it up, he called out Joshua, he got offered a lot of money, a lot of money. Money that could change countries probably make broke countries rich, she turned it down. And I come in here, I said to Deontay, I said, I'm sorry for what's happened here. Deontay's got the text, I'm sure he'll tell you the same. I said, I'm sorry what's happened here, I said, but you offered me the fight, I said, I will not turn it down, I promise you. I said, I am the fighting man and I'll step up and represent my country. And tonight I did that. And um, I just want to say that it was a great opportunity. Deontay Wilde's a good man, good fighting man. And I respect him, you saw that after the belt. The build-up was the build-up. We had a great build-up. I don't remember a better build-up than that for any fight. Two heavyweights with both. I had a great dance partner. And I just want to say, Deontay Wilder, he can definitely fight. He's definitely a showman. He Pop, definitely can't Pop, fall. Pop, Pop, what you mean? <coughs> AJ gets up from that two-piece and that 12 -piece. No way. No way. He can't move. So he would never get out of the way of Wilder. Wilder's got lightning fists and he's dynamite in his hands. Great fighter. Respect him a lot. Frank. Quick question for you and Tyson. Frank, number one, what are the parameters of the rematch clause now that we have a draw and Tyson? Is it clear you want the rematch next? Uh, well, at the end of the day, it, that's going to be down to Tyson. But from my perspective, I'd love the rematch. Um, I'd like to see it in the UK, fill a football stadium up with fill up Wembley, Arsenal, any of those big stadiums. Can we not have a holiday? Old Trafford. Come on, Frank. But you know, it's gonna, you know that we're going to. Go, we go to the Arsenal, you know, it's going to be a better trip. <laughs> but Frank, the, 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 no, we want the Frank. fight. Listen, we want, do we want the fight? You know, yeah, it would have been a great, whatever the result talk was. Talk to the mic, Frank. Sorry, talk whatever. Talk to the mic. The mic, the mic. Talk sorry. to the mic. Whatever the result, whatever the result was, I thought Tyson won it, and I thought he won it well. Whatever the result of the fight was, it's an, it was a fight that you want to see, see again. Irrespective of it, if we could get the draw, or whoever won the fight, it's one of those fights that you want to see it again. And we want to do it again. But we want it in the UK. That's <coughs> where it should be the next one. He came here. He's travelled to Germany. It's the other guy's backyard in Klitschko. He's come here. Now he let, he, let's, let him have some home turf. Because home turf, he'd have won that fight. So Tyson, is there any other fight that you want besides Deontay Wilder again next, the immediate future? You know what, like I said, I'm just going to enjoy this moment because the last big fight I had, I didn't enjoy the moment. I was... Um, depressed right away afterwards, but now I'm feeling fine and I'm just going to enjoy the moment. It was a good fight, I put in hard work in the training camp, I'm going to go home, enjoy my family, 
I've got a new Davison here some time off. I've had him away from his family and girlfriend for like 14 months, solid. He deserves a break, don't you, old Davison? Oh, I need your dad. Give me that, my boy! Listen, I just want to say as well, big shout out to old boy that at the back there, and glasses on. Get up there, old boy, mate. Big shout out to Ludi Bella. Um, great guy. Thank you for the uh, respect all the way through training camps, and um, good man, I like you. You're a good fella. Right here, straight, straight in front of you. Right here. I got you. Uh, I, I heard what you're saying about you feel like you know, you got up and did it for everybody that, uh, that has been in your position and now. But even though you got the draw and you still have the title, do you, do you feel like a winner even though it's a draw on the record? 100%. There's no losers here tonight. Look, regard when I was speaking about this fight in the building, I said regardless of who wins or loses, the decision of that fight the real winners tonight were the fans. Me and Deontay had a lot to lose. Ten years each of the We both turned pro in 2008. We both had ten years unbeaten as professionals. We both had zeros to lose. We both had pride and respect in everything. Belts, everything. But it was what it was. The fans were the winners tonight, the real winners. But no one lost the zeros. I felt like I should have won the fight, but I ain't gonna complain. I'm not gonna call Deontay Wilder. I'm not gonna run him down. He's a great fighting man and I respect him. And I God bless him as well. And one other thing, Tyson, what does it say about you as uh, your, your fighting spirit, your will, that he had knocked out everybody he ever faced? Yes. That's the burn of the rematch, but not you. No, listen, I said in, in the build up to this fight, he's, he, he, John T. Wilder, I make no mistake, he's probably the biggest puncher in heavyweight history. I don't know anybody who knocked out 39 or 40 opponents, then rematched the one who went the distance with and knocked him out. He's a fearsome puncher for sure, very much so. But I've got a fighting spirit, a fighting heart, and you know, God is with me. So if God is with you, who can be against you? Tyson, over here. Russell! Congratulations, had a great call. Cheers, mate. Um, how much satisfaction does it give you that so many people were saying he's come back far too early? Um, he's lost too much weight too quickly, he needed more tune-up fights. And you've had a nice little tune-up fight now, maybe to prepare for him the next time. But does it make it easier for the next time? We're going to have a holiday, mate. <laughs> Come on, Russell. Listen, I'll speak the truth. I had two fights in, I don't know how many, how many years has it been? I've had about three fights in five years. Been the most inactive man on the planet, but... Like I said, everyone said coming into this fight, he's fought nobody. Wilder knock him out in the round. He only fought Sefer and Francesco Pianetta. Who's he fought on Wilder's level to prepare him? But, like I said, who did the fight on Klitschko's level to prepare me for that one? I rise to the occasion. Something deep down inside me makes me the man I am. Um, like I said, made no mistake, I'm not sitting here and I'm not happy with the draw, but I'm a realist. I fought and won the fight. I thought most people thought I won the fight, but I'm not going to cry over spilt milk, it's in the past now. It was history. Both men got out of the ring healthy and we both got back to our families. That's the most important thing. You know, this side were both massive behemoths of men. Anything can happen in there. And I'm very thankful that we both got out of the ring in one piece. Both got all our faculties. I should have won the fight, but I'm not going to complain. It was what it was. I come away on my away soil, but what disappointed me was the British judge, I don't know what fight he was watching. I think the British Boston Border Control need to have a word with him. But it was what it was, I'm not going to complain. Many men probably wouldn't have got up from that knockdown, but I did, and that's what it is. It is what it is. I'm disappointed, um, Gareth, but I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. It is what it is. My friend Dave Ray would, would say this, many worse things have happened at sea. So, let's, life continues. It is what it is. Oh yeah, life goes on, even after the draw is done. Where's Tim? Where's Tim? A long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. What Tim? If I had my chance, I could make those people dance. Sing along if you know the words. Yeah. February made me shiver With every paper I deliver Bad news on the doorstep I couldn't take one more friend Come on guys, join in! If I cried when I heard about his widow bride Come on! It touched me deep inside the day Sing on!